Hey guys, it's Kanan. It's Jesse. And we are the Geeky Saying Couple, and welcome to the fourth. Yes. Fourth and final part of our Ruby Volume 7 soundtrack reaction. Only two songs this time, because like I said in the first part, we're not going to listen to the instrumentals because I really just don't know what we could say about them. And plus, there's a lot. There's a, a bunch of them. And um, so the songs that we're going to react to in this one is I, the acoustic version of I May Fall and the Peter Jones remix of Nevermore, which is one of... I think both of our all-time favorite Ruby songs, just because of its meaning and all that, and because, you know... Just an amazing song, too. That, and let's get real. Volume 6 was awesome. So, this version of I May Fall, the acoustic, um, of course, features Casey on vocals, but it also involves the Videri String Quartet, and I love orchestration strings with you know, kind of like rock music and all that. Um, it's been a while since I've heard I since I have heard I May Fall. It's a volume one song. Um, it was played back, you know, um, after the second episode of volume one. Um, but uh, according to the info here, it was also played in volume three during the Heroes and Monsters episode. Uh, it was apparently played when uh, Velvet finally showed off what her weapon and all that does and her her weapon her semblance does uh so let's get to this <clears throat> i may fall acoustic i always love the acoustic songs there's a day when our hearts will be broken when the oh, okay it's coming back to me tonight. now Ah, back when the Grim were a threat, writ, like, we're st before Team Coffee just made them look insignificant. <laughs> I love it. Such a sweet sounding song as she sings as the skies rain blood. <laughs> I love the strings. Not this place, not today. I may fall, bring it out. It's not enough to take me down. I may fall. There's a place where we'll stand out. I love this. I love, I love the melody. In the time of our final moments, every dream dies. There's a place where our shields will be shattered, and the fears all that's left in our hearts. Strength that our courage will run out before. I'm not hearing no acoustic though. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty arrangement. Way different from last year's acoustic. <laughs> and we got the bluegrass version of uh, Armed and Ready. We do something that no one else can 
And the path that we've taken will lead us one final stand. There's a moment we make a decision not to cower and crash on the ground. The moment we face our worst demons, our courage bounds. When we stand with friends and we won't retreat as we stand. I think I prefer this version of the original. But not like this. It won't be by your hand. I may fall. Not this place. Not today. I may fall. Bring it all. It's not enough to take me. Very strong vocal, Casey. <clears throat> okay, so that was the uh, I May Fall acoustic, though. Uh, when I see acoustic, I expect acoustic guitars, so <laughs> it was more of a string arrangement version, which, I mean, I, ge I get it. Um, so yeah, it's actually been a long time since I've listened to that song all the way through. Um, but I think I actually may prefer that version over the original. It was just a really, really, very, very pretty arrangement. Okay, so we are finally at the last um, so, uh, vocal song. Nevermore, Peter Jones remix. I am very, very excited for this. Um, of course, it is uh, sung by Casey and um, Adrian Cohen, and... Um, <laughs> I, I just, you know, what, what can you say? It's it's the Screw Abusers song, pretty much. Um, anything you want to add before I... Yep. Uh, okay, well, let's... Whenever I see Remix, I just hope they didn't take Nevermore and just, you know, put a bunch of drum machines on it and all that stuff. So let's, uh, let's see. Here's the remix of Nevermore. Last song. You may have taken the Hey, I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh my god. DDR. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Well, there is think a, about it. There is a freaking DDR song in Ruby. Think about it. He used to play. Yeah. Uh -huh. He'd love it. Yeah. Yeah, because he did love DDR. He was really good too. I could, I, I could never play it fast too much. <laughs> nice combo. <laughs> Well, I mean, this remix kind of does undermine what, like, the dark undertones that the songs originally had. What did they used to say why, why you would play? I forgot. <laughs>
Ruby DDR. We need it. They don't make DDR anymore. Combo. I'm sorry. That's, that's that's exactly what it makes me think of as DDR. Some people still don't get through their heads. Yeah, this is... I'm speechless. I really don't have no much else to say. It even has a little fade out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> DDR. That's all I can say. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> um. As much as I used to play. Yeah. So. <laughs> that is it. Um, there's a lot of instrumental songs, and no offense to the ones that worked on the uh, instrumental uh, music. It's just that we we would be here all day and night doing that. Uh, even though some of the songs are kind of short, there's just not much we could say about instrumental music. Um, so, quick recap on what we think the songs are about. Trust Love, the opening... I think it's pretty much just going over the, you know, the theme of the volume, really. I don't know if it's really from a specific character's uh, perspective. Touch the Sky, it's either Blake or all of Team Ruby. A little bit more leading now toward Blake, but Hero is Ironwood, yeah. no question. Brand New Day, um, Team Ruby... Plus Crow, it seems like. Team Ruby and Crow. Yep. Let's get real. Renora. All day Renora. War, we already know. That's, that's Team Ruby versus the Aesops. Celebrate Bumblebee and Team Funky at the club. It is not the election rally. You cannot convince me any other way. I will stand on that mountain. <laughs> um, <laughs> until the end... Sounds like it could really be a Ruby and Summer song. Uh, Fear, it's pretty much already stated that it, it's it's the closing theme, but it's also Oscar's theme. So he, to me, he's either talking to Oz or he's talking to Ironwood. Or both. Or both. Um, so, yeah. Um, to Jeff, Casey, and everyone else who worked on the soundtrack, amazing job as always. You guys are amazing you know with that whether it comes to movies video games television shows yes you need good characters yes you need good writing but if you try and do any of this without music it loses everything like most of the time like just scenes would not carry their emotional weight without music without music and <laughs> For me, you know, I took voice lessons. I was in choir. I think you were in choir mm -hmm. as well. I love music. You know, t to me, music is just... I grew up around, like I said, my dad played pretty much everything, but guitar and drums, and I grew up listening to music, so music was definitely a huge thing in life, so... And I mean, whether you're spiritual or not, to me, music is... 
that comes straight from the soul. Music just does. To me, that is what music always stands for. And <laughs> Ruby, I think, would... Like, the Red trailer was awesome when it first came out. But I think what made that trailer, plus the white trailer, the black trailer, the yellow trailer, none of them would have been as memorable without the music. Like, imagine red. Imagine the red trailer without Red Like Roses. It just doesn't work. Red Like Roses is what set the tone for that trailer. Um, same with, you know, Mirror Mirror from Shadows and I Burn. It's just... Music is... I think Xiao Long said this in her Bumblebee video. Music is almost everything in Ruby. Like, it just... It helps it drive the... with how colors are everything. Yes, like, it, it drives the... It drives the plot. And, I mean, it's just... It's just an amazing driving force in media. Um, so, yes. Bravo to you guys. You've done an amazing job. Um, can't wait to hear the music in Volume 8. It's going to be a rough rough one, I'm sure. Um, please confirm that Celebrate is Bumblebee at the club with Team Funky. With te- God, I almost said Team Funky. <laughs> please confirm that, because... It'll hurt, but it won't hurt as bad. Okay? <laughs> if you confirm it. I'm sorry. I'm so upset about that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. As always, this is Kanan. Jesse. We love you very much. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.